Hey guys, Rob from Georgia here with you on the eve of Super Bowl 53. Of course, we got the Pats and the Rams, but you already knew that because you're already getting ready for the game. And what am I doing? I'm gonna do another shelf video, shelf number two. So that's what's coming. I think when we left off, we were just hitting into the Ds. So we'll pick up on shelf number two. We'll still be in the Ds and by the time we end the shelf, We'll be uh, in the H's, I guess. Yeah, in the H's. Um, some familiar names will pop up on this shelf. Of course, Rami, uh, Peter Jackson, some old stuff from him. Um, that's my little one, baby. Um, we got some uh, Carpenter, a few Carpenter classics. Uh, some Godzilla. We got some Godzilla coming. Uh, Richard Stanley is coming up. Uh, he's in this batch, um, Craven. I don't know if I said Craven or not, but uh, uh, Zombie again, um, some Adam Green. So anyway, so there's a few names that are coming up on shelf number two. So what are you doing on Super Bowl? I'm making a video. So here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Shelf number two. First up, Peter Jackson. Dead Alive. I uh, got this real cheap uh, at a, a movie stop. Uh, it was like eight bucks or something like that. And that just doesn't happen very often. But uh, Peter Jackson, that is absolute, one of the best artworks out there as far as horror uh, artworks go, right? Um, absolute classic. I'm gonna set this down here to make the rest of this process easier. All right, here we go. Dead Snow 2. Uh, where's our third act? We need a Hitler zombie, do we not? Some Dead Zone, classic, uh, classic adaption from Stephen King. The Deadly Mantis. Absolutely love this as a kid watching this. Oh, black and white. This is awesome. This is great, 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 great. The Deadly Spawn. Nice. Deep Blue Sea. Great shark flick. Got this not too long ago on the cheap, too, uh, at, uh, Second of Charles, Deep Star Six. Uh, yeah, Deep Star Six. Awesome. Uh, and a Lovecraft inspired story, Die Monster Die. Uh, of course, Boris Karloff. Digging up the morrow. I remember back in the day when JP was all over this mess, man. Um, great, great movie. Absolutely great movie. Dino Shark, yeah, I know. Uh, Matthew Cantor's guy likes us. District, you know what? I can't remember the last time I saw this. It was a long time ago. District 9. I'm not sure what a revisit would, uh, would would do for me. I know this isn't horror, but it's mine, and so it's in here. The door is Oliver Stone. All right, here we go. Some classic Dracula. Nice. And then some new Dracula. Well, newer. You know, I've been in the mood to actually pop this in for a while now. I picked this up on the cheap. Um, not too long ago, still wrapped up. All right, so uh, Two Bay Hooper, Eaten Alive. Absolutely love this movie. Can't get enough of Sam Neill, right? Event Horizon. Here's some Rami, Original Evil Dead. Nice. And look at this, check out this edition of Escape from New York. Is that not absolutely just rock? I mean, there's so much stuff in there. I, this is just an awesome, awesome DVD release. That flick. All right. Exorcist 3. Uh, I have not watched this one yet. It's Tartan uh, Asia Extreme um, Face. Of course, Final Destination. And, you know, we'll say this more than once as we go through these shelves, but this is an awesome way to. Uh, Build up your collection on the cheap, of course. Take a, take advantage of the collections that Walmart puts out. Um, even if it's just to get you started, right? Uh, to have all the movies uh, together in one spot. Uh, some of these packages are better than others, but uh, for the money, you can't, really, you can't really beat it just to start getting your collection going. Uh, double feature, The Fly, Fly 2, awesome. Of course, David Cronenberg's absolute classic the Fly remake, one of the great, great remakes um, ever, ever. Of course, Carpenter's The Fog, the absolutely terrible remake. 
to his film. Uh, I think I only paid a dollar for it, so. Uh, classic James Whale, Frankenstein. Uh, another, of course, same, same idea, right? Build up your collection on the cheap. Uh, the Friday collection, all eight movies. And then, of course, uh, before I got that, of course, I was sort of building, um, as, I, as, as I was able to, the original uncut, the final chapter. And this one has a uh, director uh, commentary, but it has um, Adam Green has a commentary on this. Um, that's just awesome. That's good stuff when you find stuff like that. And, you know, I know people uh, people will, will pick out, you know, their most entertaining Friday film apart from, you know, the first two or whatever. And I have to say, this has always been one of my favorites. Um, I just, I don't know. It's it just, uh, I just love how he looks. And, uh, you know, he's more of a monster in this film. And uh, I just, I don't know. Butchler um, just did a great, great job with this, uh, with this entry. Uh, anthology from Whisper to a Scream. Some more Adam Green, Frozen, great film. Ghost of Mars. Uh, I think that's my only Criterion DVD release. Of course, Gyra or Godzilla, 1954 classic, awesome. The new film, of course, we're waiting for uh, King of Monsters. And a few Godzilla films. Uh, Godzilla on Monster Island. Uh, Invasion of Astro Monster. Godzilla Raids again. And then we get out of uh, the Godzilla films. Gremlins. And I only remember these from back in the day when I was a kid. They only came out momentarily for a moment and then they were gone. These little singles on CD. I don't know if any of you guys out there had one of these uh, from back in the day, but uh, anyways. So, I can't remember. Do I do, did I do this? Gremlins, let's pretend we did. All right, let's move into some Halloweens. Yes, the original 25th anniversary, and of course my ticket from seeing it on the big screen. How awesome is that? Uh, Halloween uh, 2 and 3 and of course my ticket from seeing uh, Halloween 3 on the big screen that was awesome that was really awesome in fact here's my here's my German release of that how awesome is that region free man you got to be region free take advantage of these things um, not the biggest fan of this entry, but you know, I always did love, I always did like the uh, cover art to this. And then of course we got zombies entries here. Um, of course my ticket stubs, uh, the unrated director's cut of the first film, theatrical cut of the first film, uh, theatrical edition of the second film, director's cut of the second film. And we move on to, uh, you know, you don't hear people talk about this one often, but Ridley Scott's uh, Hannibal Entry. I actually love this film. Really, man, this movie is just absolutely gorgeous to look at. Uh, especially the scenes filmed in Florence, I believe. Just uh, really just shot beautifully. And the commentary on that is really good too. Uh, some classic 80s here, happy birthday to me. I always love that cover art right there. Some Richard Stanley. Uh, it's the only film I own of his actually, Hardware. And uh, we all got to be excited about um, uh, Color Out of Space, uh, adapted from H.P. Lovecraft that he's working on right now. And I see, uh, uh, who is it? Uh, from Mandy, um, why can't I think of his stupid name? Uh, just got uh, cast in there. But uh, Richard Stanley, man, he doesn't make a lot of movies, but when he does, they're usually good. Classic, The Old Haunting, Robert Wise film, I believe. Of course, classic, right? Uh, George Costanza's in this, man. I gotta love that. Uh, before Seinfeld, he knows you're alone. And I, I'm telling you, this movie freaked me out as a kid. Really freaked me out. Um, no, 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 I'm sorry, not George Costanza. No, that's The Burning. Tom Hanks is in this. That's what I'm thinking. Tom Hanks is in this. And he's not. he doesn't have like a huge role, but um, it's his first film, man. I wonder how many of you guys are out there who correct me when I did that, but look, I corrected myself. Um, uh, 
Yeah, Heavy Metal Apocalypse. Actually, it goes under another title. Um, it, it's escaping me right now. Some Bruno Matai. Look at that. Hell of the Living Dead. They eat the living. A cult classic Blue Underground release. And we got uh, some Hellboy 2. Always like that. Uh, this, the Sentry. Uh, Craven's classic, The Hills Have Eyes, uh, Collector's Edition. I think it's a Collector's Edition. Uh, there's a couple discs in there, I think. Uh, what a great film, though. And then finally, end shelf number two. His name was Jason. And uh, yeah, some documentary good stuff there. So that wraps up shelf number two. And uh, at some point this week, we'll, uh, we'll knock out... Uh, yeah, that third shelf coming up. So, anyways, enjoy the Super Bowl, guys. And always, go Bills.